So I was watching film on George Karloftis over on patreon.com slash Vosh Lombardi where we watched the whole film. And I was really raving about his Notre Dame game because I thought the Notre Dame game was super impressive. And I hopped on one of these live streams and I was just gloating about that game. And, you know, someone called my show and they weren't too impressed with Carlotta's. And they said, well, besides that Notre Dame game, he didn't do very much. And I'm like, well, all right, cool. I'm not going to argue with anybody's opinion. If you've done the work, you've done the work. Then I see this post on Twitter um, that had Carlotta's falling into the 20s. In particular, he fell to the Cowboys. But this is... This show is for everybody. This, if he goes top ten, you got you one. Good job. Um, but I saw some people on that, you know, on that post that were that, that they they didn't like the idea of getting Carl Loftus at twenty four. And in my mind, if you get Carl Loftus anywhere past seven, eight, nine, you 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 should go do some backflips. You should go run to that podium. You know what I'm saying? So what I just want to do today, I just feel like there's a lot of nonsense on the internet when we're talking about George Carl Loftus because we talk about the Oregon guy. We talk about the two Michigan dudes. There's been this big hype about the Florida State guy. I wanted to show some love uh, for the Purdue kid. You know what I mean? So with that being said, bro, let's just kind of get into some George Carl Loftus film. And you know what? To be fair, as much as I love his Notre Dame film, I won't show any plays from his Notre Dame film, okay? Let's talk about this, though. Uh, start off versus, versus Minnesota. I think one of the big things that people, like, if they're down on Carl is one of the first things, you know, that they say is, you know, they, they don't have a lot of sack production, right? Let me say this, right? Because a lot of y'all are fans of other people in this, in this draft class. If you run free and get a sack, and if another player you know, doesn't get the sack, but I'm seeing you winning with traits. You're winning with technique. You're winning with a pass rush plan. I like the dude with the pass rush plan that just got a pressure and a hit opposed to the person that's running free and getting the sack, especially if we're just evaluating players. And there's a lot of reasons why George Karloft is didn't get sacked. I mean, he went, he went reps. <laughs> he went reps. He gets hits, but sometimes the ball comes out quick. Sometimes there's double, triple teams. Sometimes there's tight end and, and running back help. There's a lot of reasons. What I like in particular is you're coming off the ball. Okay. Quick hands, quick hands, grabbing cloth, working to the outside momentum back inside. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a time out. Time out. Time out. When we boom, 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 boom. When we work our leverage outside to get O-linemen going outside, then we double pull some cloth. Look at his left hand right there. We double pull cloth to get back inside, then go and then go and get a hit on the quarterback. I hate that some of these plays aren't sacks, bro. I hate that some of these plays aren't sacks because according to some of y'all, according to, 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 you know, draft Twitter, if it's not a sack, it don't count. That's bullshit. I'm just going to kindly ask my producer to not show Notre Dame plays anymore. The point of this film session is to show you George Karloftis making plays versus other teams since I was so hell-bent on the Notre Dame game. Don't show no more Notre Dame. Please and thank you. All right, let's get into uh, this play right here. A little more pass rush, a little more hands, a little more technical stuff, man. Hey, bro, you can miss me with all that he's not going to test well. You can miss me with all that he's not going to be good at the combine. Miss me with that. And he has reps, you know, hand um, hand down, three-point stands, defensive end. We also have him standing up. I don't think he's going to be a full-time stand-up guy anywhere, but, you know, we'll just talk about that a little bit more. But quick hands inside with a little jet rip at the end. Pop, quickly rip and get that arm off of you, right? Don't just rip. I want you to rip, you know what I mean? I want you to pull through to get that offensive lineman's right hand off of you. And uh, we're going to get a little violence on that rip. You see that little shoulder dip at the end? Ah, the little rip, the little violence right there, just to finish with the sack. Fantastic technique. Fantastic technique. I wouldn't call him like an Aiden Hutchinson hand technique guy because Aiden explodes people with his hand technique. But George Karloftis does indeed have some good hand technique. Let's keep watching. Another Notre Dame play for your mind. Now, something that I can definitely see, I don't know what team he's going to go to, right? But I will imagine that there's some team that will want to make Carl Loftus a sometimes B-gap guy, you know? Now, will they try to make him a little bigger, you know, to play B-gap B -gap sometimes? Will they make him a B-gap on passing downs? Like, that's to be determined. 
But as we're watching George Karloff's film, he has many, many plays from B Gap. So he may not be like super athlete, but I think one thing you can do to cut down on some of that super athlete is like high effort plays, right? And to be fair, when I was watching this on patreon.com slash Vash Lombardi with my audience, I was, you know, I was saying, bro, like if this dude was a cowboy, I doubt he gets that far. But if he was a cowboy, I don't need him to make all these plays. Like we got a Michael Parsons and a Jabril Cox and other fast guys on my team to make this play. So if you're drafting Carl Loftus, don't think that Carl Loftus is gonna make all these sideline to sideline plays that's what your linebackers are for but don't think he's not gonna put forth a fantastic effort to go make plays like this that's what i like about carl Lopez. he thinks he can make all these plays even if he can't mm, mm, mm. boy 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 he just look man <laughs> hey man say say what you want my guy say 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 what you want about brother carl Lopez. you ain't got to draft him you ain't got to draft him if he make it to my team, I'm doing backflips. If he make it to my team, I'm humping a chair. If he make it to my team, we're gonna run outside shirtless and scream in the streets, straight up and down, just like that. Do I have any any plays of him in the run game? I've been showing all these past plays. The, the reason I haven't shown many run plays or I haven't written down many run plays, is I think he's known as a run guy, you know what I mean? Um, you know, even even in you know most of his write-ups or whatever they're touting him as a run guy that's not really pass rush guy i just think all oh, that's kind of nonsense but let me let me just find some some good uh some good some good run work for you and i'll just get right back with you give me give me two seconds it's funny because i en i'm ending up showing you this play right like i just i'm showing you this as an example of a uh george carloptis run play but i wanted to show you like a super extreme example like the most extreme run play example i have of george carloptis which is this <laughs> which would be this but 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 that ain't practical man you're not gonna get these plays all the time and that goes against what i just said to you man these run free plays right i'm not gonna give you credit for the run free plays i want to see you engage with somebody beat them and then i want to see what the result is like i i you know i would rather you beat somebody technically and then not make the play versus the run than the run then the run free and just hit somebody but this is an extreme version like i said one more Notre Dame play. And that's George Karloftis, man. I showed a lot more plays than I normally show, but I really get upset with Twitter shenanigans. I know that there is a George Karloftis fan base, you know, that's floating around draft Twitter, but I think every player has its own fan base. I'm just so blown away at how good I think George Karloftis is versus where people think he like where they got him ranked at you know what i mean i saw some people calling him taco charlton 2.0 or that you know oh, oh or, or that he's like a you know, like a second round guy and, and those, those guys aren't watching film man those, those dudes can't be watching film so i'm not going to you know spend too much time on them i just wanted to make this video so to where if you did see some nonsense about george carl in the streets you can simply just know a little better or if you see some nonsense these in these internet streets you, you could just send that link around and just um hey here's a video by george carl you, you should educate yourself before you go around saying some foolishness out there right now um do do i think that his athleticism is a problem necessarily i mean you you always want like if you're building a fast defense you want to be as fast as possible i understand but you know you're not going to sit here and just pretend like you can't have players like this on your team um you know if i could just make it about my team that's you know the best examples i can think of like i said these film sessions are for everybody but if i can make it about my team i got guys that run fast on my team i got you know dudes that run and hit pretty well but give me this dude that's going to be great versus the run give me this dude that's going to be a good pass rusher for me i think in year one if he's in a room with other good pass rushers i think that might be what's best for him um just just off the rip i think that's for all pass rushers actually i think unless you're one of these super talented miles garrett type of cats i think you know it'll be better for you to like be a part of a rotation very early in your career until you get your you know your league legs up under you and then you get that offseason peanut butter that make you big and strong and then um, we can lean on you as a guy george carlock is year one let that dude be a rotational pass rusher as a you know as a first year guy as a rookie guy i think he can do he can get some production for you in this for in his first year don't just have me you know sounding like i just want to sit him um but when it's time for like year two three four and maybe other guys on your team 
team aren't under contract anymore and it's time for him to be the man that's when you get in there and let that dude take over you know um so like i said man i don't know what he's gonna do at the combine the combine is uh for him is in a couple of days so i don't really have a good idea what he's gonna test like brother jeff kavanaugh saw him um you know working out in dallas i mean cool he's he, he's gonna look a little stiff he's not gonna be as athletic as thibodeau or some of these other guys but man this dude can play football man and if we've learned anything about you know being scouts like we all learn something new every year i've only been doing this for six years i think i'm decent at it uh seven years something like that i don't know but um you know when six years for sure when there has to be a point to where i'm not looking at analytics or metrics or combine numbers i need to watch the film and see if this dude can play football and this dude can't play football and i showed you way i, I normally only do five plays for the youtube highlights but I, I was so upset and angry and pissed off and aggressive that i just had to show uh what the real business is with you know more than five or so how many plays i showed, I showed y'all nine plays ten plays I showed y'all ten plays a day so there you go. If you want to see more plays, man, uh, just us watching film as a as a family. We're watching wide receivers now. So come over to patreon.com slash watch. I've already put in whatever you want to put in. You get access to all that good content. And uh, follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. Go and find that post where people are talking this nonsense about George Carlisle. So I'm about to upload this and and, and just put and just put the link in all those comments that were saying that he was a bad player. All right. Y'all hold down for the Doski, Wilson, Peace, and Whiskey. Till next time. Peace.